women understand when they make mistakes. They may not always indicate the knowledge of those mistakes verbally, but trust me, when they're dealing with the consequences and repercussions of their decisions, they understand the mistakes they've made. And it's only when she is forced to be face to face with those consequences will she say, okay, here's what I did, here's what we do, here's what needs to change. But one of the areas where they fail to admit this poor decision-making process is when it comes to the decisions that take place to have them end up as single mothers. They always shift the blame to the man as if, if the man wanted to be there, he would be there regardless of what the woman attempted to give him or what she attempted to do as far as the system goes to impede him from being active in his children's lives the way he would want to be as an active father in the household. But somebody sent me a video on IG where this chick sounds absolutely passionate about this, but what she says is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, she says that single mothers create the men who aren't going to take the foolishness from a single mother or the men who aren't going to stay with the woman just because they have a child with her when that woman is giving them nothing but pure foolishness, pure toxicity. And also the men who meet a single mother and won't forgive her mistake with another man or her bad decisions and embrace her as his wife simply because she has those children by another man. Now, she didn't say those things, but after having several conversations with single mothers over the years and even dealing with a few throughout my life, I know that these are the things she was pointing at when she described this quote unquote bad man. But what she says her fix is as far as how she's attempting to raise her boys as a single mother. It's the main problem in this society. And it's what I like to call a gross overcorrection to a problem that a lot of the times women are actually the source of. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now, the reality of the scenario is this. When you hear a woman admit that single mothers do not create the best children as far as what they become when they become adults, it's always refreshing to hear that from a mother, a single mother. Because if I as a man say that as a blanket statement myself, then there's no limit to the amount of negative distinctions that I will be labeled for making that statement. But now when a woman makes that statement, we're talking about something totally different. So let's take a listen to this video, man, and we'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. Warning, if you have sensitive ears, she kind of goes ham on this just a little bit. So cover your ears. Cause there be some hoes out here, chill. Like, real life, like who raised you? But it be us. It be single mothers raising So I just be doing my best with my sons. I be doing my best with my sons, not to raise my sons to be <laughs> But we be having the audacity to be asking these men, who the fuck raised you, a single mother that thought she didn't need no man? That's who raised the <laughs> That's who did it. Why your single mother feel like she don't need no man because her daddy abandoned her? It's such a perpetual cycle. Now, what you hear in this particular video, man, is an indication of what happens when a woman is forced to deal with her mistakes. But I want you to listen closely. You're hearing a woman talking about the type of men that she's met. And she's saying that these type of men were created by women like her. But this has a deeper meaning. What this woman is doing without being open about it is saying that 
My God, do these boys need their father in their lives. All of them. If you grew up in a home with a single mother, you are not the same man you would have been if you had grown up with your father in the home. And after all of these years and all of these decades, women are starting to have to admit that. You know why? Because social media gives everybody a platform to say whatever's on their mind. So before, when there was no social media, they could act like they didn't believe that, act like they didn't know that. But now, more and more, social media is the pool that's necessary to make these women get on a soapbox. And for better or for worse, speak the reality of their lives. But here's the main thing about this. She says she's going to fix it by not creating those types of men. Now, what are those types of men? As I stated earlier, the types of men who are not gonna stay with a woman just because they have a child together, that number, that, that woman is not willing to play the position she needs to play in that scenario. If a woman is gonna give you the blues, then the children will lose. Because you'll send them money and go create some days that's sunny. See, the real, re the real reason that this woman is saying this it's because she wants to create the opposite of that man. So what's the opposite of that man? A beta male simp mangina. A man who will allow a woman to come and go and say and do as she pleases. And will take on the brunt of the responsibility of the emotional connection. So while she's doing all of that. No matter what happens, if she has his child or has another man's child, he's going to be there with that woman because he's going to pedestalize and elevate that woman. What else can she teach a man? A woman can teach a man two things. To teach him to be a totally detached from everything but himself individual. Or she can teach him to be a man who's attached to everything else in the world besides himself as an individual. So you have the man who's too selfish to sacrifice for anyone and you have the man who's too sacrificial that he won't protect himself. That's the only two men that a single mother can create. So when she says she's not going to create the one, she's going to create the beta male simp mangina. She's going to create the do boy. She's going to create the man who sees a woman with children as a prize. A woman with mental issues as a prize. A woman who's been scarred her entire life as a prize. A woman who has baby daddy drama as a prize. A woman who has a violent nature and a short temper as a prize. A woman who has too much masculine energy as a prize. Why? Because his mother, who has never felt like she was a prize with any man. And notice she did say boys. So nine times out of ten, if a woman is a single mother, she has multiple children by multiple men if there are multiple children. See, a woman who's a wife who divorced a man doesn't embrace the angry single mother mindset like that. Because very few women who aren't going to get a bag for divorce end up divorcing. Any woman who divorces a man has the expectation to get a bag. That's just the reality of it. Now, why can't women think about things on terms of finding a middle ground? They only live in extremes. Either a woman views things as really, really right or she views things as really, really wrong. The problem is whatever she views as really, really wrong, she's going to go all the way to the opposite end of the spectrum to really, really right. But the reality of the situation is really, really right. It's just as wrong. It's really, really wrong. It's all about personal preference. So when a woman says, OK, I'm going to do everything in my power to keep my boys from being these types of men. What she's saying is I'm going to push my boys in the other direction and I'm going to make them be the type of man who hold the door for every woman they see. I'm going to make them be the type of man who fall in love with every woman they meet. I'm going to make them be the type of man that sacrifice themselves for every woman on the earth. I'm going to make them the type of man who believes that every woman is a queen, even if she acts like a peasant, even if she acts like a scallywag. She's a queen scallywag. I'm going to teach them that women are God. I'm going to teach them that women are responsible for birth. Women are the ones who give birth. No, women are the ones who deliver children. They give birth, but they do not create life. Women are the ones who give birth, but they do not create life. But this woman is undoubtedly going to teach her boys that women are God. Women are the creators of life. When in actuality, women are the incubators of life. So the reality of this is you have to understand 
that many men out here have been raised one extreme or the other by a single mother. And the problem is we keep blaming men for leaving. The majority of men don't leave. The majority of men walk away from a situation that a woman is telling them pretty much, I don't need you in. Because if a woman knows she needs you in a situation, she's going to cater to you in that situation. I'm not saying hold you, you know, unaccountable for the things you need to do for your responsibilities. But what I'm saying, she's going to appreciate and embrace the fact that you are a man who is there willing to take care of his responsibility. But we live in a society where women don't have to do that. Now, if this woman had met those types of men that obviously hurt a little heart, she probably wouldn't have even made this post. But what happens is here she is, a single mother of multiple children and believes that she deserves a man who's just going to be with her. Well, you do. But that man is gone. He's he's the children's father. One of those children's fathers should be the man that you're with. No man has to come along and meet you with your children from another man and say, OK, it's just going to be me and you. Unless the guy's much, much older and his libido is non-functioning. And then at that point, you end up cheating on the man. Because even though you may be at the wall or over the wall, you still have a little itch sometimes that need to be scratched. You see, what we have in this society is the chickens coming home to roost from those eggs that women slammed onto men's faces once upon a time. I don't need no man. Yes, you do. You just passed on the opportunity to get a man. And now you got to deal with these, as she says, F boys. And the reality is, when you make your bed, that's the bed you got to sleep in. And if you lay down with dogs, you come up with fleas. And that's just the reality of it. Don't allow yourself to be caught up in believing that any woman alone with no man can raise a boy into any type of man. She can only raise a grown boy. You notice not once did she say single mothers raise men. She said, I'm trying not to raise my sons to be this type of dude. Because we're the ones, single mothers are the ones who raise these type of dudes. Watch out in the world, man. Things are turning the way they're supposed to turn. And it's simply because it's been a long time coming. These things didn't happen yesterday. They didn't happen last year. These things have been brewing under the surface for decades. And now they're finally coming home to roost. And I like to think the COVID pandemic had a little bit to do with that. When everything's fun, there are no men needed. When things get hectic, looking around, not seeing a man and being victimized by men who only want one thing from you has a way of humbling even the most cocky of single mothers who have the tedious task of trying to raise boys, but not elf boys. Y'all coming down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.